So here's the procedure that I decided to go with to get the remaining residue, thin set residue off after knocking the ridges down with the uh, air hammer and chisel bit, uh, which I'll be showing you here shortly. So this is simply my Porter Cable angle grinder with a hubbed wheel grinding wheel attachment with a diamond surface on it for mortar and concrete, along with a shroud for uh, vacuum it lets you attach it to your shop vac with the uh, adapter that comes with it. So I'm hoping that works out well. The two together, the grinding wheel and the shroud, were like $70 at Harbor Freight. The hammer drill with the chisel works well to cut down the higher ridges of thin set, but doesn't work to remove the solid thin layer of thin set that still needs to be removed. So here's the angle grinder in action. It cuts through the thin set like the proverbial hot knife and butter. I was somewhat concerned that the grinder might chip up the OSB sheathing, but it just shaved it off as smooth as can be. If you decide to use a grinder like this, you really need to get the vacuum shroud attachment to keep the dust down to a minimum. I've seen videos that say a vacuum shroud reduces airborne dust by 95%. I'm here to tell you that that's probably a little bit better than that. With the vacuum running, there's hardly any noticeable dust. I accidentally started grinding once without the vacuum on and it instantly created a cloud of dust. So make sure to get a vacuum shroud and use it with a grinder in this application. It attaches to the grinder in the same way that the grinder guard attaches. So just remove the guard and attach the shroud. So here's the uh, subfloor, uh, probably two or three hours after I started. Some of the best $70 I ever spent in my life for that uh, shroud, vacuum shroud and the uh, diamond tip uh, grinder hub. So if you saw my previous video where I tore up the tile with that rotating hammer drill, uh, that, that was a way to go to uh, between that and the uh, angle grinder to get the uh, thin set off. I uh, wouldn't have done it any other way. I did research some other ways with hand tools, chisels, and uh, scrapers, uh, putty knives, and such, and uh, you just can't get it done that way. If you want to get it done quickly, this is the way to go.